Hello YouTube. I'm making this video to show you how to do a trigger job on these KSA or Keystone Sporting Arms cricket cricket rifles and cricket pistols. This is happens to be a cricket pistol, but the action is the same, so should uh, should work on all models. And there's a better look at what we'll be working on today. Here's the tools that you'll need to complete this job. Okay, the first thing you need to do is remove the screw here in the bottom of the action. Here's a close-up of the screw. It's not necessary to uh, it's not necessary to remove your bipod or your your optic or anything. <clears throat> So we'll just remove the screw. After the screw is removed, the action just comes right off the stock. Um, one nice thing about these about these firearms, they're very simple. I like that, uh, simple and inexpensive. So now the screw's out, set that there, and the action is right off of the uh, right off the stock. Next step, you need to remove your bolt from your action by pulling the trigger back. Just pull the bolt out. It comes out real easy. <clears throat> Next, there is a pin right there. Right there that you need to get out. And the way that you get it out is by holding your punch like like so and pressing down upon it upon the spring here and then that pin will just fall right out. So we'll do that right here. Make sure, make sure that you don't lose your uh, trigger spring when you do this. It's really hard to do it on camera, so we'll just do it down here where I can actually see what I'm doing. Here's a close-up of the moving parts, so you can see. Then you take this dental pick, poke it out real easy. And as I said, you probably already realized this, but uh, don't lose it. And it seems that it only comes out on one side, so if you push, if you're giving it, uh, don't give it too much muscle on one side, because it really doesn't take very much. And there it is. Okay, there's the pin. Pin's out. We'll just set it there and gently take the spring off, take the spring pressure out. And there's your spring. <clears throat> and there is your trigger and sear assembly. So, first step of this trigger job, well, after you take the gun apart, is uh, this trigger channel right here. I'm just going to take this needle file and take off any burrs that are in there. And uh, that will help to smooth it out. So, don't get uh, overzealous on taking metal off here. It really doesn't take very much. So, yeah, just deburr it. It already feels smoother after just, you know, 10 seconds of filing on it with the needle file. Okay, so for reference, the sear, the uh, knob there on top of the sear goes towards the trigger. So you can know which way to put it back together. This pin just pushes right out as well with the help of the dental pick. So it should be really easy. Just push that pin out. Now the largest part of this job is going to be taking this uh, mag well and aluminum or mag and aluminum polish 
on the Q-tip or the old rag and just taking it like this with the uh, Q-tip and polishing this trigger area. Polishing this area where the uh, sear just came out of. And the reason why I polish that is because that is the pivot point. So the smoother that that is, the smoother the trigger will function. Also, I'd recommend polishing the top of this trigger. Um, you could spend, well, you could spend all day polishing it, but uh, really you try not to take off too much metal. So just get the polish here and polish it as much as we can. So you get the idea on that. Um, also, I would recommend polishing the outside of the sear where it slides up and down in the uh, action up in here. Let's see if you can see that. Polish the inside of the action as well. Just, uh, just go crazy with polishing that. I don't think that there's really a negative. Anyway, I'm not going to keep this video on the whole time of all the time I'm going to spend polishing this thing, but uh, you get the idea. So polish that, and then put your sear back on, and put it back together, and now you will have reduced the trigger pull, and hopefully made the trigger quite a bit smoother. Um, if that's still too... <clears throat> if the trigger is still too stiff for you, you could get a replacement trigger spring or uh, cut a coil off of this and that'll, that'll drop a couple pounds off. Um, I, I don't really recommend doing that because well just polishing it up and taking the burrs out has really made a huge difference for me. So that'd be all.